Hey y'all, this is Artistic Diva 722. I am painting this evening and I thought I would bring you with me. Like, oh, why not, huh? So, this is a really dark color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more water because I'm using watercolor. So... See how that just blends right out? Very nice, I'd say. Very nice. And I'll try not to let this um, go too terribly long. Now move it over a little bit so you guys can see just a bit better. Kind of a nice quiet night. It's um, cool weather now in the Antelope Valley. The extreme heat, I do believe, is over. So I'm like, ooh wee. I'm on an actual um, sweat top as we speak. <clears throat> so you see that um, it's a bit lighter once you... Um, drag the water drag the water out so I'm going to make the ladies with um, different skin tones I don't have any idea what their names are I'm just going to kind of go like that so I can blend it out with some water A lot of people are intimidated by watercolor for whatever reason. I don't know why. It could be a little challenging, I guess, if you've never used it before. But that's what um, YouTube is for. <laughs> YouTube University. YouTube 101. When you can um, <clears throat> learn how to um, do pretty much anything you want to do. Somebody is kind enough to make a YouTube video coordinating with them um, what you want to know. You can learn all types of different things on YouTube, but I go to YouTube for my own YouTube channel, which is Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale, and also I have a YouTube channel for Artistic Diva. 722 that was pretty much active a um, few years ago so I am bringing it back y'all because I have uh, more time in my days now than I used to when I was um, actually out working in the mainstream so I have time to do such things so I think I'll just take advantage of that So sometimes it gets kind of dark. All you have to do is just kind of blot your your brush off and add a little bit more water. And when it dries, you can get different um, values of um, shading. So those are two different browns, two different brown ladies. I'm going to see what this other lady is going to be, going to be doing. Excuse the shadows. That's wet on wet. You just have to be in control of how much water you you are using. 
in uh, reference to um, what you want it to look like. Sometimes it um, messes up, but you can, it's an easy fix with the watercolor because all you have to do is activate the color with water. It's like, I love the way that it flows. It's like a flowing medium, and I really love how it um, how it moves because it's with water. I think it's actually very relaxing. So let's zoom out for a second and see. Okay. Oh, messed up, child. Ooh. She look a little dark over the eye over here, so I'm going to rub that out a bit. Put a little bit more water. I don't know if they're friends or if they're sisters, cousins. I don't know. I have no idea. They all have afro hair. I'm going to um, put some water on the area where their hair is. Move it down just a little. I tend to like a lot of pinks when I'm um, painting. I'm adjusting the light. Let me try something else. Hmm. Left hand. Ah, it still has a shadow for whatever reason this evening. So, ah. We're not going to worry about all that now. So, I'm going to try color that I don't usually ordinarily use. Like a funny green, I guess. I'm partial to afros. If you don't know that about me, you might not know anything about me as an artist, but I tend to gravitate toward um, women with afros because I wear somewhat of an afro, I like to think, curly hair. I'm into the um, natural hair. Usually a lot of my um, women empowerment art, um, they wear a lot of hoop earrings and stuff like that. She has hoop earrings, but not all of them have hoop earrings, but I'm partial to afros and hoop earrings. Probably has something to do with growing up in the 60s and 70s as a child. That's what I saw, That's how people dressed and how different things went on. And I think I'm going to get a um, turquoise color now, which is pretty much close to the green that I've already used. So I'll um, try to pick another color to go on top of that because they're kind of. Well, kind of similar, I'd like to think. The watercolor flows nicely.
If you have any comments, by all means, let me know down below. I promise you all, this is like super fun for me. I've been drawing since, I know, at least since three. I like to say two, but I'm not really quite aware of what's going on at two years old, per se, like as far as what you're doing. But I know that um, I've always loved art. It's just my absolute absolute passion I've always been obsessed with drawing and creating so that's that's what I'm doing y'all okay now here's a nice blue guess we'll keep it all in the in the same family of cool colors the blues are cool colors Reds and orange, reds and oranges are warm colors. And you can find find out <clears throat> find out any of that on uh can't get my thoughts out, y'all. Find out any of that, all the color concepts and things like that, um on Google. Yeah. I imagine that's the number one search engine I'm thinking because all anybody ever has to say is, uh, yeah, yeah, go Google it, Google it. So I used to use the search engine oh, years ago called Bing. I don't even know if they still exist. I'll have to go and look it up because I tend to uh, gravitate toward, uh, what is that, uh, Pinterest. I love Pinterest, but I came up with these women that I'm, painting came up with them myself so i have my own little uh characters that i make and here they are character <laughs> let me know in the comments if you all like to create your own characters, I think is quite fun. I think they look more like friends because their features aren't the same or anything. You know how siblings will have a lot of the same facial features and different different elements. So they don't look like they have those characteristics. So I think they're they're probably just good friends hanging out. Maybe they're on their way to go shopping or going to get their hair and nails did <laughs> yeah but they look to me like they're some pretty good friends so I'm adding another uh, color within her hair just to add it a little more texture it looks even better in person. I'm using a um, really cool stand out of something that's um, not traditional so I can be able to bring these videos to you and paint at the same time so that's that's pretty much what I'm doing y'all I'm, I'm bringing I'm bringing the news here's some kids outside talking you would think it's some um, summertime and the living is easy and that they're well it is sunday so they need to be in the bed i think because it's um shoot it's getting late go on get your bath you can eat dinner go to bed be hanging out outside 
Take yourself to sleep at times. Like you telling them cats. Take yourself off to sleep at times. I think they're in the living room. They have hammocks in the living room that are attached to the uh, wall. So they're really quite, quite busy. Let me know in the comments below, um, what kind of characters do you like to draw, if at all? What, what, what do you like? What, what, um, what floats your boat? My boat floating. I like art that has, uh, has to do with women. I'm comfortable with women because guess what? I'm a woman and I really enjoy the art of women just drawing women so it's pretty pretty cool so i sketch these women out in um pencil let me see i'll probably give them one of them an orange dress but you can't see it so i need to remember to adjust my platform so you all can see what's going on. I'm gonna dip some red in here, make it make it interesting. And my um Cats just showed up. They're probably going to start worrying me. His name is uh, Star. Very sweet cat. And he in love with Mama. Mama's me. <laughs> yeah. He is in love with me. He can really start fooling with me. I just know it. I'm trying to paint. Whatever I'm painting, he'll show up. Mama. There's her earrings. I'll hook them onto her um, head <laughs> after a while. There he goes, y'all. Didn't I tell you he was going to come up in here and start cutting up? It's time for you to go to bed, Papa. I always call him Papa, even though his name is um, Star. No, honey. It's time for you to go night night sleeping. You know mama up painting, Papa. Papa mama's up painting. Go on now. I'm trying to give the ladies a some kind of um snazzy um outfit. You need to go to bed, Star. It's late. Probably say, well, you need to go to bed, too. What, 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 what you doing up, Mama? Because I was grown, that's why. I'm grown. It's coming along, I would like to think. It's fun to be able to um, create your own uh, people. And you really don't quite know how they're going to look. At least I don't. I kind of make them up as I go along so really I never know how they're how they're going to look
Yeah, so that's pleasant. Very fun, very relaxing. Uh-uh, go away now. I'm going to cut this video because I don't know. You have to let me know in the comments if you are enjoying a long video or would you rather a short video on my page. I like either one. It's fine with me. I'm just painting and wanted to share and put you on my page. No, no, honey. Go on now. Shh. Shh. We up in the twenty one minutes now, y'all. Not that I'm um not that I'm counting. <laughs> we up into the twenty 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 minutes marks. They have a little eyeshadow. She needs eyeshadow. Why not? Who who doesn't need eyeshadow? And a little blush. I'm not going to be up much longer myself because I've had quite quite a long day. So I'm going to be calling it a day soon and getting to bed myself. So this is how they look so far. And I will make another video and continue. So I will talk to you good people later. Peace.